Hello. Okay. So. Can you see, see the slide? Yes, sir. Okay. So, in the last class, we were discussing about the and the unit of the and the CEO of the COIF. Okay. So, Today, we are going to discuss about the reverse karma. Reverse so, so, you will be familiar with the karma. Okay. Uh, where was you? Like, karma cycle of the video you will see. Do you remember? Do you remember? Okay. So, we can. Carbon cycle was a heat engine cycle. Okay, was a heat engine cycle. Okay. You know, the Okay. So, if we reverse this particular carbon cycle, we will be obtaining a reverse carbon cycle. Reverse carbon cycle. Okay. So, this particular reversed carbon cycle, reverse carbon cycle is used for. Configuration cycles. Okay. Mainly it consists of uh, two isentropic processes and two isothermal process. Okay, understood. So <clears throat> the Carnot cycle was a heat engine cycle, and uh, once it is reversed, we will be getting reversed. Sorry, this is more Okay, so we uh, it was a uh, carbon cycle was a heat engine cycle. Once it reverses, we get carbon uh, reversed carbon engine, and uh, which is used in refrigeration cycles. Okay. So, and it consists of two. Isentropic process, process and two isothermal process. Okay, so <clears throat> so here from we can start from one. Okay, so from one to two. Here what happened? Iso isentropic combustion process. Okay, the water is so this is okay. the isentropic combustion takes place. Okay. Okay. So here we must give some work input. Work input. 
okay and from two what happened isothermal combustion principles okay that means you will have a phase change from the vapor to liquid at the constant temperature okay we have a phase change so here the air okay here the here the air is combust okay so here from the diagram you can see what the temperature is constant but at this time this temperature is constant okay during this particular process what happened the pressure okay pressure of this particular air increases from p2 to p2 okay. as well as the specific volume specific volume will be decreasing from p2 to p2 okay keep in mind that okay from this graph p b like they will be asking you to explain the reverse carbon cycle with the help of a ps and pb and uh, ts tag <coughs> okay at that time you have to write all this what are the variable changing in each process in each stage okay so here what happened here keeping it what Okay. And here, what happened? Isothermal combustion. Okay. So here, he is. Okay. So from three to four, here the expansion. Okay, expansion value. Here the expansion takes place, but here there is no significant workout for this particular expansion. Okay, then next is one from four to one. After the expansion, this particular air. Okay, so first of all, it will be compressed, and it will be taken to three and four. Here the what happened? Isothermal compression takes place. Okay, at that time what? The liquid will be converted, so the vapor will be converted into liquid. Okay, so as a result, the heat will be rejected. Okay, and it reaches a state. And three to four, it is just expansion, no work is done. Okay, so then after the expansion, the air goes into the evaporator. Okay, in evaporator, what happens? The absorption of heat taken place. The absorption of heat taken place. Okay, this absorption of this particular R uh, Q L is known as what R the refrigeration effect. Okay, the refrigeration effect. Okay, and that will be a constant conversion process. Okay, so from T S diagram. We will be getting Q L is equal to refrigeration effect is equal to T L into T L into S three minus S two S three minus S two. Okay. Okay. 
minus q minus s3. Okay. So then the heat rejected will be equal to Tx into S2 minus S3. Okay. So the work Say I will write it for you. We get QL equal to R equal to TL into S2 minus S3. Okay. And QH equal to TH equal to S2 minus S3. Okay. So the work input okay. work input will be the difference between the the difference in this heat like heats the difference between the work it will be equal to the difference between the two mm heat -hmm. heats okay so we'll be getting a equation work input is equal to th input minus s3 minus pm S2 minus S3. Okay. And then we get the formula like PH minus P equal to S2 minus S3. Okay. So we will be getting the formula for one Okay. So we know that the coefficient, the coefficient of performance is in the desired effect of work Q. Okay. So here, in the case of COP of refrigerant uh, reversed carbon chain, we'll be getting QL and the move. Okay, here is the area. This is a model. Okay, so we will get TL into S3 minus small divided by small divided by Okay, we already get this one. Okay, look. Okay, work it. TL minus TL into S2 minus S3. Okay, so cancelling these two terms, we will be obtaining COP of the reverse to carbon cycle as TS by TL by TH minus To carbon cycle is Pn divided by Ph. And so on. 
understood yes sir Uh, the mainly that question will be like this uh, in order to explain the reverse to the cycle with the help of PV or PS diagram and uh, that will they will be asking to uh, derive the CO. For doing this particular problem, you have to uh, hold this equation. Okay. So <clears throat> next we are going to explain or we are going to discuss the problem. Reverse the Joule cycle. Okay. Reverse the Joule cycle. First of all, we have to understand the reverse to Joule cycle. Right. Um, These three cycles are same. With a reverse to cycle, back to one cycle, and reverse to attend cycle. Okay. So in the examination, maybe any of this name can be asked and as well as the expert. Okay. You have to keep in mind that. Okay. So actually, this particular refrigeration machine or the air. Refrigeration machine was developed by Bell Corbin Lightfoot. Bell Corbin. Bell Corbin. Bell Corbin. Bell by reversing the joule air cycle. And then the reverse the reverse the joule cycle. Okay. Now, let's understand. So, here you have to understand. The same phenomenon is here, but here there will be a addition. There will be, you have to consider that from here the turning and the heat is changing. Okay. So, Here, there will be a work, okay, net work will be, in the, here there will be a supplementary work, supplementary work will be given into the composite, okay. So, that means in the particular turbine, what happens, expansion happens, as a result, the turbine will be rotated. The particular, a little amount of that work is utilized for the combustion work. Okay, actually, the net work will be the difference between the WC minus WD. So, you can discuss that. So, here you have to find out the net work. Okay, here So, 
Okay, so from one, what happened? The compression of the air taken place. Okay. Okay, the air <coughs> air get compressed. Okay, then after that, what happened? It will be reaching to the condensed. It will be reaching to the condensed. Okay. At condenser, what happened? Air compressed air, then they will be rejecting heat into the atmosphere. Okay, rejecting heat. QH and the heat will be rejected to the atmosphere. Okay, what happened here? As a result, the vapor state or the phase change taken place from the vapor to liquid. Okay, so at the compression, what happens? The compression of the particular air taken place. Okay, then it will be taken into the then it will be taken into uh, the condenser. Okay, condenser where it will be loses or it will be rejecting heat. Okay, it will be rejecting heat. Okay, but through that the phase change of this. Okay, then after that the expansion. Okay. The expansion of the air in the expander in the expander are being taken okay okay so here is the that thing the based on the expansion the turbine will be rotating okay that you already know that we were uh, discussing with the customers so based on that particular turbine uh, sorry, the based on the particular expansion, the turbine rotates. Okay, so this particular a little amount of work that is given by the turbine will be added or will be given will be given into Working with okay. That is nothing but here you have to understand that the work net will be WC minus W. Okay. So here the number of the number of net of the case number W at the value. It is the difference between the heat selected heat rejected minus heat even electric operator level so the heat of the cycle is over so here you have to consider the both compressor work as well as the turbine work okay so uh i will tell you the texture star okay And then uh, the Today, uh, while drawing with the help of this particular device, it is a little bit difficult. Okay, then the drawing will. 
Here, S1 will be S2, S1 is S3 will be S4. Okay, so here one the combustion. Okay, here we already discussed it will be the heat rejection. Okay, <clears throat> so we can discuss this. So the amount of work in okay so the amount of work input will be the difference in enthalpy of the these two points. these two points means it will be the okay here is the work is given and yeah, work input over here so the and that difference will be taken from one and two point. so the compressor work we will be getting as h2 minus h1 okay so <clears throat> then we have to understand uh, i will write here okay At the two, the, it will be it enters into the entering into the conductor, and at the three, it will be coming. Okay, that means from here, right? From the lower two, then after that from two to three, right? From here, what happened? The air is inside the condenser where we already discussed what happened at the condenser the heat rejection is taken place okay so that particular heat rejection can be obtained by the difference between the enthalpy of the difference between the enthalpy of these two points okay so we will get a formula for q as as QH equal to H2 minus H2. Okay. H2 minus H2. Okay. 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 So It must be straight line, okay? Then only we can say that this one is equal to S2 and S3. Yes. Okay. So here it will be 1 and uh, it will be 2, 3, 4. Okay. Then after this particular condensation, okay, it will be reaching into the or it will be entering into the turbine. Okay, this is the term. Okay, so next thing we are going to this particular entering into the term. It is the term. So here there will be work and which will be the 
which will be equal to the difference in the energy of these two poles. So it will be H3 minus H4. H3 minus H3 minus H4. Okay. That is nothing but this one. So, then after this turbine, the after this expansion, that particular will be entering into the entering into the evaporator. Okay. So, in evaporator, what happens? We already discussed this one. The heat will be absorbed. Okay, evaporate heat absorb so that Q L will change the Q L equal to this refrigerating effect H. Okay. So That will be equal to QL equal to RE equal to H1 minus H4. Okay, so we all know that the coefficient of performance is nothing but the refrigerating effort divided by the work. Right. So So, we already know what is R. Okay, R is equal to H1 minus H4. And this work net will be, we already discussed it is WC minus WT. Uh, WT. Okay. And the WC is nothing but H2 minus H1. H2 minus H1. Okay. And minus H3 minus H4. Okay. So we know that this coefficient of performance of reverse to radial cycle or the joint cycle okay. will be will be one here the R is H1 minus H1 H1 all divided by the work compressive work is H2 minus H1 minus and WT is H3 minus H4. Okay, so thus we got an expression for the coefficient of Thank you.
So this is very very important. Okay, uh, I think this class hour is still 11 to right? Yes, hello. Yes, sir. Tar.